Today, we create and manufacture our first console. So if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like and let's get started. It's been a ritual at the beginning of every single video. It is time to release Soft Ink version 3. How did we go? Well, let's have a look at 3, a 3, and a 3. Zero dollar marketing budget. We're going to order probably about a million copies and we'll start ordering about 150,000 and it makes 6.9 million dollars absolute wonderful to see and if I change my webcam here you'll see that we are making millions of millions of dollars and just check out Logic OS 6 25 million but it's time to get Softy Inc on its own little team introducing project management yay all right so Softy Inc we need to have a leader. I think her name is Essie Stafford for D Games. Beautiful. All games support team. Let's make sure support team. And for the development time frame for Softy Inc, I'm going to go for about 120%. I'm going to see what that can do. So, we're going to pretty much run the game now. Are we developing a project yet? No, not yet. We've got to probably wait for the leader to come in and do that little action points. You know what it's like. But otherwise, I don't want to waste much time today because we we need to exploit the rest of the industries in Software Rink. The next industry we want to exploit is, of course, the operating console system. I have no idea what I'm saying, but if Logic OS version 6 can make 25 million, well, we're going to make a lot more money with consoles and phone operating systems. So, we need an office space. So, what have we got? Support marketing teams in here. What's in here? We've got the OS team in here. We've got the audio team in here. Who's in here? No one. All right. So that's pretty good to see. And there we go. D console and for nighttime for the console teams all pass through. Beautiful. So that is in. What are we going to name it? That's something I didn't really think about, you know. What should we name it, shall we? Um... Well, I guess everything's going logic, 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 logic. Let's go maybe logic connect. That sounds pretty dope. Probably not. <laughs> we're going to make sure it's all single stars. That's like, we're pretty much just going to try and go basic on the first operating system. Sell it for about maybe $180. So we'll go try and go really cheap. I want this to be an old console. Or do we want it a new console? Nah, let's do an old random console. Yeah, that seems pretty cool. Now, let's go. Next page. The joystick now we need. Hardware to make it go broom, 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 broom. I think we leave it maybe simple. Let's sell it for like $25. We'll put this as the SEM. Um, what are we going to call it? The logic pad. And let's develop that one. The next thing that needs to be developed is the console. And well, the console needs to go to the console team. You can't see it, but if I bring it up. Oh, there you go. You guys can see that now too. Look at that. All right. Fast forward the game. Well, we don't really make that much progress for today. It's 3 a.m. And our day team should be coming in shortly. It's November morning and it's time to release our first console operating system the logic pad is coming up first so it's looking like a three a three and a two so we're gonna do a zero dollar marketing budget and we're gonna order about half a million i don't know about five million copies i think we might go do about maybe two million copies 104 whoa okay 500 one two three five hundred thousand copies whoa that cost a lot of money <laughs> logic connect let's see how this goes three two and two Zero dollar marketing budget, half a million copies, 78 million. Ouch. And it's also time to release the Logic Ecom Platform 2. So let's get that out. Let's get an update on this going as well. And let's see if it does any good. And Logic Connect only makes us $92,000. That's not a lot of money. And the Logic Pad didn't make anything. That's, oh, that's not good. That's not honestly good. StarCraft 3, come on. 9.3, easy. Let's promote you and announce a release date for about, what's it, November? We'll probably come out in about maybe, let's say, February next year. So it's February and it's time to release StarCraft 3. So how did we go? A 3, a 3, and a 3. Zero dollar marketing budget. Let's order about 5 million 
copies and we'll start printing about 150,000 a month. And in its first month, it makes $2.7 million. Absolutely wonderful. We are going to get StarCraft 3 onto automation now. While we are smashing through the bugs on Logic Connect, let's actually start manufacturing our own consoles. So we are going to need an assembly line. Let's maybe, whereabouts, how, how can we do this? Manufacturing, ah, pop out window. Here we go. Beautiful. So I think, I think we'll start manufacturing here somewhere. So what do we need? We need a component printer. So it's looking like we are going to need four controllers. Then we're going to need to get two plastic and two drive bays. From there, we're going to be needing an assembler to be able to assemble this stuff. We'll put this in here, so something like this. I might actually move this, shift this one over to here. We'll put one in there, one in there. Yeah, I think that that looks all right. And then a final assembler can go here somewhere. Yeah, I think that should be okay. We'll use the fast T belts in here. So I think what we'll do is we'll turn this one around this way. We'll turn one here and then we'll spin this around. That will go into there. That will go into there. All right. From there, we'll probably rotate this around just so you can then come down through into here. From there, let's rotate this around. That will go like this. And I think, yeah, I think something like this will do. So now we'll have to set this up. So these four that we have here are going to be setting the output as controller. I'm then going to have, say, one of these, one of these. So each one is going to do plastic. And then this one and this one are going to do drive bays. Then we're going to get these two over here to do the motherboard. These two here to do the case. And then we should have our final assembly. From there, we should be able to use maybe a fast conveyor. And then that should be set to export over into here. Now, we're going to have areas where we're going to have... There's going to be a bit too much backup here. So we're going to add in a couple of pallets here. I think that should be all right. So now what we should see is if we rotate this, we'll have one there for a drop off, one here here to pick up and then what we'll do is we'll duplicate this on all of these pallets and just like that you have a simple build to manufacture consoles so of course that looks good let's now go into print consoles which should be into not digital distribution but right in manufacturing so how many do we want to say like let's just say we want to print maybe ten thousand a month all right is that possible to do ten thousand a month oh there you go you're starting to see those boxes come out that's beautiful look at that so it's time to release logic connect to so we're going to launch the pad first so how did the pad go a four five and five again that's actually pretty cool isn't it so we're going to order about fifty thousand copies of the pad and we'll see how that goes and then in terms of the actual console how did this go three three and three all right that's pretty good now the next thing that we all we got to do is chuck an update on here and it makes seven hundred thousand dollars in the first month which is pretty good the pad didn't make any money but we'll probably find that that will slowly make money over time but overall we are doing very well changing the web webcam you see we're making millions of dollars every month but overall logic connect and logic pad are doing pretty well at about eight hundred and twenty thousand a month which is pretty good i'm really happy with this this, what we should be doing next time i think is we're going to be looking at efficiency in the two softwares but you know what i want to do though guys next time we're going to do something a little bit differently we're going to come over to here and i think we're going to build a new offer seeing that we've got 1.5 billion dollars in the bank account i'm going to buy these two blocks of lands and we're going to build a brand new office i think i want to get our maybe our os teams over into here otherwise guys that's going to be all for today's video if you didn't enjoy guys consider subscribing down below and guys, I'll see you all in a new video soon.